かべこざんにゃ、わよかごばこ、こよこふのにゃ、わらげ。おぶてぶしびえ、こらちとこわこざんにゃ、わらげ。Talent is one of the most amazing things you find very easy for yourself to do. Most of us are blessed with one talent, some of us are blessed with five or seven or eight. But the question is, what ever happens to you if you're blessed with more than one talent? Do you handle one and throw out or dash out the other? Today, as we reminisce with Sheila, we are going to find out how she deals with her talent and how she calls all of them together. Of the years I've seen her, she's Always revealed herself as a person who knows how to dance, knows how to sing, knows how to swim, knows how to cook. She just <laughs> knows everything. So, tonight, as we reveal this, we're going to watch a video first of all, and then we will continue. want to give a whole shout out to my friends' studio and i3c for sponsoring this video and making it happen. And if you're thinking domain, think i3c.co.ug. Let's watch this video. Did you know who I was when we met? Yes, I did. I knew who all of you were. And that's why I applied to teach at Rosewood. <laughs> that's what I was to you. I, I was research. When I saw you at the bar, I took advantage of an opportunity because I wanted to be a good reporter. I wanted to be the guy that, that, that would do anything for the story. And I, but I promise you, though, I didn't know I was going to fall in love with you. Don't. I, I, I've lied about a lot of things. Ezra, don't! I've lied about a lot of things. But I have never lied to you, not once, about how I feel about you. So, Sheila, tell me about <laughs> this video, because, you know, seeing it or watching it <laughs> the first time, I was, I just laughed my lungs out. <laughs> well, I was, I, was, I was scrolling through TikTok and all, and yeah. I, just, I just came across the sound. And I'm like, I should try this out. So how much longer did it take you to do it? Because pretty much, if you gave me those scripts to read them, I would take like four or, <laughs> or maybe even six days to, to, to kill that. Well, I I just, I, I, I think I listened to it like about five times. Yes. Then uh, tried making it around five times, five other times. Yeah. Uh, so it, it must have been like, I must have spent like 30 minutes trying to like get it right. Exactly. So, um, anyways, today we're here on the Dining Table Tales show and we just, we just want you to tell the people about yourself, about, about what they should know about you. Because for me, I know you as, as my friend, <laughs> as a musician, yeah. and also what do you want to tell them? Uh, my name is Karunji Sheila Gabriela. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I sing, I dance, I act. I uh, I do a bit of fashion. I uh, well, there, there are lots of things I do. I I don't know how. But so you're kind of gym packed with literally everything. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The thing is, at first it was me trying to figure out what I'm best at, mm -hmm. but then with time it just I just got to like embrace everything like everything I do, and it's just a, each and every bit is a part of me. Or it's it's a part that makes me who I am. All right. So is is there a thing or two that you say? I think I'm very much good at singing. I am very sick at studying or something because earlier on we gave you a script to read through and you were just that fluent. So I was amused. Is, <laughs> is there anything you you have zero zero or F nines at? <laughs> Uh, sciences. <laughs> sciences. Chemistry. Chemistry, of course. Chemistry screws everyone, at least. At least. And that's the only one subject I always, like, kind of feel like, why did I even study it anyway? But since now I'm doing film, there is always something you need to do with chemistry somewhere else. And, yeah, and, but... Yes. What what I think I am best at is singing. Mm -hmm. So what, uh, what, what I'm mainly best in, or what I... I'm trying to like focus on mm -hmm. is the performing arts, singing, dancing, acting. Yes. I uh, I'm doing music school. Mm -hmm. uh, that's at African Institute of Music. That's in Entebbe, right? Yes. 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 And then I'm uh, doing dance at Bototo. That's Clay Dance Company. Yes. And uh, I have a few other places where I go and do dance here and there. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. And then the acting, I, I, I haven't gotten a place to, but I, I, I've been, I've been acting in church and you know, yeah, productions and all that. Kind of so. stage thingies. Yeah, yes, yes. yes. So Very I'm much. just waiting for my break, breakthrough. So what, what was acting. your first role acting in church? What did you act like? An angel or a demon? I acted as a psycho. <laughs> a psycho. <laughs> and that's, that's, that's pretty much a good one. So the question, the question we want to ask you tonight is that the talent part is fused all onto you, Sheila. Sheila is a talent. is a talent person. But we have other things that happen to a talented person. People are attracted to you. You attract people to yourself. You have mm-hmm. fans. You have people that text you and tell you, I'm interested in your hair. I like your smile. I'm in love with you. How do yeah. you deal with that? Uh, well, I've actually had issues in that area because yes. first of all, I'm not, I'm not a person that talks a lot. Mm-hmm. I am a person that waits for people to like initiate the conversation and all that. I am very phlegmatic and very, you know, reserved in a way. Yes. Uh, but what I do is, I, I think I'm, I'm not good at meeting people. So I try to kind stick. of introvertish. Yes, oh, yes, yes, kind of introvertish. Yes, uh, I try to keep with the ones I know, and so you're get... comfortable with not making a new friend. No, no, no. I, I am comfortable with that. But that's if, let's say, She's, Cosmas. Yes, Cosmas has a friend and introduces me to him. Oh yeah, so you I'll... get you get to connect through someone. Yes, it's I get very to hard make... for you to to approach someone. Myself. Does that mean things that have have come your way? You have they have come on a silver plate because yeah of course we all have <laughs> understand and have agree that Sheila is dangerous <laughs> beautiful all right and on top of that she's got talent and she's got all the things merged all together you all understand when the voice comes in these things it just make, makes someone more beautiful we know Whitney Winston the voice <laughs> just goes all the way up there you know you understand that uh-huh. but then do you date a person that is in your same field or you date someone that is out of your field I actually wouldn't mind, but then issues I've been getting with the people, okay, some of the people I date is that... Oh, you, they, you have like a cluster of them? Okay, not <laughs> a cluster of them. Okay, yeah. the thing is, uh, I have issues whereby people are not, okay, they are insecure about me having all these talents and having so many friends that keep on... You know, texting you, texting me, yeah, hugging you on, on on the red carpet. <laughs> someone screaming I've out your name from no. Oh. <laughs> and no one has, oh. has screamed my name. Oh yeah, but okay, yeah. but you're getting there. Of course, I'm pretty so sure I this think is going to come. Yes. I would prefer someone in my field who mm-hmm. like understands that if if I am if I am that that's to a, that's to a larger a larger extent. Yes, that understands if if I'm if I'm dancing, if yes. I'm singing, if I'm doing this. Yes, I'll have very many friends. I'll have people that actually want to get me or are trying to get me. But then, to a lesser extent, mm-hmm. I prefer someone out of the field because they'll they'll not stick there every time. You want someone you can lie to. You say I was on no, set no, 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 as much lie. as you were. <laughs> <laughs> not lie yeah. to, but there's there's that space you need. Mm-hmm. But if I if I'm if I am in studio or if I'm singing if I'm yeah. if I'm working on my music, I need my own space. But, but if I am yeah. if I am going for a dance class, I need my space. Like this is where I express myself. This is where I do this. Let's, let's and look at Jay Z and Beyonce, <laughs> good musician and a rapper, businessman and a mother. You understand? And those guys are in the same field. But then yeah, we all understand Jay Z is kind of a little tough, you know, protection and all. Yeah, so you want someone like that, or you would want to be pretty much like Anne Kansime. The husband is way so different, <laughs> and she's a comedian. Okay, the thing is, I wouldn't mind either way. You wouldn't. Yes, it but depends then on, the, on the person. Yes, but then, but then there's 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 disadvantages and advantages to both sides. So. All right. So, do you agree in the sense of having an alpha male, or you want you guys to have like an open kind of relationship? In a, in a sense of you being a celebrity, because most of them 
who sing, who know what they want, who have been there, who have tested the waters, the deep waters, they always say, I want to be a feminist. I want to be an alpha female as much <laughs> as the male comes in. He has to agree with what I do. So something no, like as, that. As I said, I am an introvert. Mm -hmm. So I'd, I'd want, I would like someone who would like, you know, stand up and, you know, take the lead. But mm -hmm. then at the same time, we need to like have an understanding and he should not like just go over away or just, you know, yeah. you, you, you're not going to wear that. You are not going there. You are. So yeah, overprotective. Yes. Yeah, I'm overprotective, but <laughs> we can deal with that. But then, you know, I understand growing up as a musician, you find out you have a talent and we're in a country where professionalism is not, is not at its a hundred percent. It's somewhere yeah. in the verges. It's trying to yeah. get to the top where you, you're a good vocalist or a musician. You get to this studio and the producer says you have a good talent, but then in return, he says, I'm going to record your music. I'm going to do things for you for free. And yeah. then you're going to be my other thing or something like that. Have you encountered situations like those? I, I haven't. And I do not, I don't think, Oh, actually, there was this, but it wasn't, it wasn't singing or anything. Yes. I was in, there's this dance crew. I think it was my first time joining a dance crew. A dance crew, yes. And uh, it was, it was actually not even a church dance crew. It was some, you know, those oh. famous. Famous. Dance, famous. Okay, not famous, but. They're okay. famous, of course. Dance yeah. crews. Downtown, so local. I, uh, yeah. So this guy, I think he was the head of, he was the head of the team. The crew, yeah. Yeah. So I, you know, I, I come in, I was, and I, I was. 13. I was 13 Whoa. years 13. I was 14 years old. We're taking him to so, jail. I'm telling you, out there, we're taking him to jail. So this guy, this guy is like, oh, so you want to join that crew? Yeah. But then you'd have to be my girlfriend first. I was like, I was like, oh. This has nothing to do with. I, I was like, I looked at him yeah. and I was like, okay. I'll get back to you, and I never <laughs> went back. But did did that make you give up on dancing? No, it no, it, it didn't because there there are very many different people. Like the world has you know, what seven billion people, and seven, everyone yeah. is different. Like yeah, so I, I I knew I would get a chance elsewhere. So where have you? Because we need to know as much as you say you're protected and this and this. We need to understand what are your bars, what are the levels you have set. You say if someone crosses this. We are out. You understand? Because you can say, we're friends. We go to church. We act together. I can never go to your house to stay for a week. Mm -hmm. Or I can never come at your studio that is at your house. It's mm -hmm. unprofessional. So what are the bars that you've set as a musician and as, as, like um, in the art industry? Uh, I think if the bars I've set are, I, okay, I want to do this. I want to do everything out yeah. of my own sweat and make sure everything I've done, I'll look back and be like, I did this. I you, did when this. You're proud. Yes, I yes. did this and, and I did that. Mm -hmm. And I do not want to like the buzz of set are like I, I am not going to sleep around to get to where I want to be. Exactly. I am not going to get into a relationship just out of this guy this guy is let's say is a celebrity. He's, and he's cute, a producer, he's cute, nice, and, and, and yeah. he'll he'll get me here. Yeah. So I want to look back and I want to be able to look back and even tell my kids later on that. Tell the right story. Yes. What is your advice to someone that is looking forward to being like a Sheila? Someone that is out there that has like five, six, four, seven talents in their lives. They can sing, they can dance, they can write, they can act, and then they can also draw. They have art inside of them. Number one is uh pray pray yes you're a christian put yes i am mm. put god first and uh number two the sky is not even the limit it's beyond like just do whatever you can do do it to your best and everything will work out that's it so are you gonna get any chance to sing for us tonight on the keyboard with your music <laughs> i will get to hear that I don't know, you tell me. Well, we would want to see that because, <laughs> you know, we cannot only speak about music and not show them that we can still do it. Only that, I won't sing because I have the worst <laughs> voice there is. On one condition, you dance. 
Oh, maybe I will <laughs> in the back. Is it a rap song? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. So, this is, this song means the world to me because I wrote it about, I wrote it about my dad and everything we've gone through with him, which is actually not a lot. I've, I've spent my whole life trying to like get to him and trying to get to know him and I just didn't know how to. So this song speaks more than any of the songs I've ever written or sung. The first time I sang it to him, he, he actually almost shed tears, but you know, men, <laughs> they don't usually shed tears, but you know, yeah. And since then our relationship has gotten better. to dedicate it to everyone that has not had that fatherly figure in their lives, that has not had their fathers around. If you can relate to this song, just, this is for you. Njagala kugamba njagala Njagala kugamba njakubera o Jagala kugamba tinkwagala na yenkutia Jagala kugamba tinkwagala Jagala kugamba tinjakubera o Jagala kugamba tinkwagala na yenkutia All right, thank you so much for sticking around. This has been the Dining Table Tales and we've been hosting Chilla. And today I'm pretty sure she has exhausted everything you wanted to hear or wanted to know about her. And if you still have questions out there, comment underneath our video. I will get to you as soon as we can. Thank you so much for watching the Dining Table Tales. Thank you.